Hi there, Mama Lori here with Lori's Laptop Lifestyle, and today's topic is, is it really free? In an age of constant online ads, promotional emails, we often come across offers claiming to be completely free, but are they really? Well, it's time to take a closer look and find out the truth behind these so-called free offers. Many times, what may seem like a great deal at first glance turns out to have some hidden costs or requirements that catch you off guard. So you have to be really careful. So before you dive into a supposedly free offer, be sure to read the fine print and understand what you're signing up for. Now remember, there's very seldom anything free in this world. So stay informed and stay empowered as we look deeper into some of the potential traps to look out for. Are you ready to get started? I know I am. Let's get started. Okay, number one, as I mentioned above, you need to read the fine print. Always look for the fine print in any free offer. It often contains important information about the terms and conditions that can tie you into, yes, a contract. Number two, understand the commitment. Check if the free item requires a commitment such as signing up for a subscription service that will charge you after a free trial period is over. Important to know that kind of stuff, right? Number three, check for hidden costs. Look out for the hidden costs such as shipping and handling fees that may not be immediately apparent when you're reading all the information. That's always in the fine print stuff. Number four, Research the company. Do some background research on the company making the offer. A reputable company is more likely to provide genuinely free offers without unpleasant surprises. Number five, know the return policy. If the free item isn't what you expected, make sure that you understand the return policy and whether you'll be responsible for returning and all the shipping costs. This is important to know. Number six, beware of time-limited offers. Be cautious of time-limited offers that pressure you to act quickly, as they may lead you to make a hasty decision without proper consideration. Number seven, personal information. It's a tough one out there sharing our stuff. So consider what personal information you must provide to receive this free item and whether it's worth the exchange that's taking place. Number eight, quality of the product. Sometimes free items may be of lower quality or even older stock. Access, access whether the product is something you would find value in. If it's not, then why would you take it? You don't need it. Number nine, upselling tactics. Be aware of upselling tactics where the free item is just a way to introduce you to a more expensive product or service. This is a trick they love to use. Number 10, genuine reviews. Look for reviews from other customers who have taken advantage of the free offer to see if there were any catches they encountered. You know, some bad stuff, right? Number 11, and this is the one I hate the most, beware of clickbait. These tactics are used to, to get people. Clickbait often uses sensational or misleading headlines to grab your attention and entice clicks. Be cautious of offers that seem too good to be true or headlines that provoke an emotional response. Always verify the authenticity of the content and the credibility of the source before engaging with the material <clears throat> or providing personal information. Remember, if the primary goal of the content is to generate clicks rather than provide value, it's lightly clickbait and oh, it'll take you down a highway you don't want to go. In closing, here's a small challenge to engage those who have diligently followed the first 11 points that I just made. It's the, the insightful part participant challenge. Congratulations on making it this far through our Savvy Consumer Guide. Now, we'd, like to we'd love to hear from you based on your own experiences 
or insights. What do you believe should be our point number 12? All right. Share your thoughts or stories about any catches or loopholes you've encountered with free stuff and free offerings and clickbait. Your contribution could help others become more informed and and become a cautious consumer. Comment below in the comment section with your valuable input. I, I can't wait to hear from you. I look forward to reading them. I really do. Anyways, remember, if an offer seems too good to be true, it probably is. Always approach free offers with a healthy dose of skepticism and due diligence. They're sneaky out there, and they've got different ways of getting getting through to us, and we go, oh, that looks so good. I should do it. Don't do it. All my links and disclaimers are located in the description area below. Check out some of the stuff that I'm involved with. Involved with. This is Mama Lori signing off with Lori's Laptop Lifestyle, and I can't wait to see you in the new year. Bye for now. Bye-bye.